Hi guys, <laughs> bit of an interim video this one. I just remembered I need to get it done. Um, many may have uh, seen or used Banggood.com and uh, I was contacted by Amar, one of their people, and uh, basically saying sort of, what do you want? that you could review and uh, I said well I'm after an ER32 collet set and uh, R8 holder and he very kindly sent these along so eventually I got round to trying out and the uh, what did I have a 3 8 milling cutter in which I was using actually for my carriage stop block which is uh, part two by the way is coming fairly soon now when I've finished editing um, anyway there was run out and it was run out as I describe in one of the clips it wasn't just that run out it was what you might call a wiggle and um, I decided to do some tests on it as a review and these are the clips that follow. Now, as far as conclusions go, I've actually realised probably what the problem is. Um, it's only when I started looking at the clips that uh, I realised that the locking nut, I didn't notice it whilst I was testing, but close up on the video you can see that the locking nut does this very slightly all right you'll see for yourself when I've got it running I'm damned if I noticed before but that might explain the whole thing so when you do up and do things up and lock the collet the front face of it is not going to be parallel to the table so that it's doing this during rotation. So I've actually got run out just in front of the collet and then at the, at the more distant point this uh, bigger error. So I think the uh, collet holder is the uh, faulty item. Um, it's all quite nicely made stuff and I've had basically pretty good experience with import stuff and he, okay you might expect a little bit of run out but uh, obviously you want uh, you want truth during rotation anyway here's the uh, series of tests I won't put anything on the end but you can see now I think uh, what I was noticing and why I think if I can get a replacement collet holder eventually uh, things should be all right. We tried four collets of different sizes altogether, um, similar sort of errors on all of them and that basically is it. So I, I say a big thank you to Omar for sending me this stuff and the deal was that I do review for him and I'm going to put links in the description to the relevant pages on the site on his website. I think there's also a link for some uh, deal situation, valid until February 28, I think. Anyway, there you are. It's enough waffle. <laughs> so uh, um, I'll say thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye. Well, this was uh, sent to me by Banggood for appraisal. Very good of them. E ER32, R8, and uh, a sixteenth set of. Um, not sure whether these are the right way around. Um, how many I got? One, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Is it fourteen or fifteen? 
really quite nicely made collets. I can't really fault the finish. I mean, they're not perhaps quite as bright. Uh, not bright, but uh, not quite the mirror finish of some perhaps, but very, very adequate. And they seem good. That's a 3 8 which I'm going to use in a minute. And um, I've got a quarter in here ready to use. This in itself is nicely finished. Can't really complain at the uh, overall finish aspect, but as I mentioned to the guy, Amar, who sent me these, um, I put this in the mill a little while ago to uh, hold a 3 8 mill, milling cutter, and I had a bit of run out. Now, I'm going to test it again for both quarter and 3 8 Now these are precision ground pieces of uh, hardened material. Got a whole batch of these. Should be fairly good to show or not show what I'm trying to describe. What tends to happen is instead of the run out being bad that way because the actual collet holder itself seems to run pretty true what does tend to happen is this all right which suggests for some reason that the collet when it's clamped is not quite true to the axis of the spindle right so I say it's not that type of run out compared with the I suppose you might call this a wiggle so I'm going to set up in the mill and uh, give it a try. Now the first thing here, I'm just checking again on the holder itself and if the, hopefully the indicator will show there's about a two thou deviation but it's almost like there's a slight high spot all right. Now you might have seen, I may not be zoomed in enough, that the end of this was doing that wiggle. So I'm going to check now on the top. This stick out is probably fairly typical of a quarter inch end mill. So let's change over the indicator. Now there is some run out at the top of this piece of quarter rod. It's actually more than I expected. And I don't know whether the collet is off center or the main thing is that it's not sitting um, dead square. That It's like it's got a slight tilt. There is about a sixth thou deviation off center. Now I'll measure the bottom. In fact, you can see the bottom wiggling, I think. Now this is looking at the bottom, which is where the uh, deviation is greatest. Now that's nominally about 10 thou, which is pretty severe. So, I'll switch to the 3 8 and we'll see if we get similar results. Right, here's a piece of 3 8. Again, this is precision ground material. And this time we've got a bigger deviation at the top, out of centre. That's about nine thou. 
uh, which is more than the last. <coughs> but I'm going to change over now to um, the bottom. Now we've got we've got a bigger stick out here, which is perhaps more typical of a three-eighth end mill, maybe a bit longer actually. And we'll see what we get on here. Well, that's about 18 or 19 thou, which obviously is pretty excessive. Um, the slight run out on the uh, Collet holder, which, as I say, was it was as if there was a slight bump. It wasn't indicative of a 360 degree gradual. It was definitely a slight sort of bump effect. So the holder is potentially all right, but what's happening here, and now we've tested two collets. Um, it seems as though the collet is not sitting true enough within the holder. So I shall probably probably see if I can get a replacement uh, holder. Right, well I've got this uh, long roughing mill and uh, three quarter inch shank. I haven't got any, any smooth ground material of this size but what this shows now when I run it up is that we've still got run out just below the chuck um, yeah below the collet sorry um, and looking at the bottom end here because of the nature of this it's very hard to see if there's much side to side but what's happening up the top That's about seven thou, I suppose. So if we've got some deviation up here, the chances are down the bottom there's also some side to side. I think the similar effect that we had before. Now this one's going to be difficult. Slightest movement on the floor makes this move. I put this down here because this is um, a half inch carbide spade drill and uh, it's got fluting from here downwards so I can take a reading from the top and I put this point down here so that you won't see I don't think but I've looked critically to see if there's any run out at the bottom and there is. It's detectable. Now on the top we've got about 9 thou and down here the carbide point such as it is which is very hard to see does on close inspection show a little bit of deviation. But regardless, the problem at the top is enough to be important. 